Welcome to a new what I eat in a day. It has been quite a while since I ate these rice sourdough bread. I got kind of tired of them, but this day it was time to eat them again because I felt like enough time had passed. So I mashed avocado on top of them and then I cut them in half just because it's easier to eat them when they're smaller. And then I sprinkled on herb salt and nutritional yeast. Oh no, and yeah, for extra protein, I added hemp seeds as well. I'm used to only adding herb salts and nutritional yeast, so I just set it automatically. Anyway, then I added cucumber slices. I actually prefer bell pepper on this bread in particular, but I didn't have it at home, so yeah, cucumber would do. Besides this, I also had an apple with cinnamon, which is such a nice combination. As always, I also had green tea. I had leftovers for lunch as usual and with my leftovers I had buckwheat uh, that I just cooked the same day and the actual leftovers were a bunch of roasted vegetables such as zucchini, red onion, tomatoes and bell pepper which is one of the reasons why I didn't have any bell pepper at home. It also contained kidney beans for protein and with this I had hummus. I wasn't too hungry in the afternoon, so I just had a banana and peppermint tea. For dinner, I made this orange dish because I had some cherry tomatoes that I wanted to use, so I started by adding them whole to a pot. Then I chopped garlic and supposedly you should let it sit for 10 minutes before cooking it because apparently this increases the allicin content in the garlic which has many health benefits. So while the garlic was resting, I added dried basil and tomato paste. By the way, I loosely followed an orzo recipe that I posted on my Instagram in the past but I tweaked it slightly. Uh, but yeah, I can link that recipe below. Anyway, as the tomatoes were cooking, I mashed them with a spoon. Then I finally added the garlic and I continued to mash the tomatoes. I was just about to say potatoes, but it's tomatoes. Then I added the orzo and I made two servings. So this was half a cup, not one full cup like in the original recipe because the original recipe is for four servings. And then I added one and a half cup of water. In the original recipe, it's both water and plant milk and in total three cups. But yeah, this time I just added water. And in the original recipe, it's sun-dried tomatoes, not cherry tomatoes. Just a little side note. I added herb salt to act as a veggie sock. I will link the one I use below. And I let this cook for 10 minutes while stirring. For protein, I added a can of chickpeas. And for a nutrition boost, I added frozen chopped kale. I know I added too many on my meals, but it's just so convenient and it doesn't go bad as quickly as fresh greens since it's frozen. So in the end, I just cooked this until the kale had gotten warm and wilted slightly. And I also have avocados with a lot of my meals because they're such a good source of healthy fats and I've just seen so many improvements in my skin since I started eating them a lot. It's been a while since I had red or purple cabbage as well so I decided to get it and added it to my dinner. After dinner, I had fennel tea. I don't know why I can't pour water properly on camera though. Um, but anyway, that was everything I ate this day. 
I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe because it really encouraged me to make more videos. Thank you.